Before I had my daughter, I spent a lot of time thinking about my future. Nowadays, as a mom, not only do I think about my own future, but I think about my daughter's future as well. Thoughts about the future sis seem to double and triple as a parent, don't you think? The future can seem so uncertain, paper thin, and even precarious at times. But I was reminded during my time with God that the feeling is as it should be, since according to the Bible, secret things belong to the Lord, and future things are secret things. So I am once again urged to trust in the Lord and obey Him as He leads me step by step, having faith in His promises to care for us. Even though it's summer, I'll still never turn down a good mac and cheese. I saw this recipe on Food 52 for the creamiest baked mac and cheese and decided to swap in the truffle butter I saw at the market. To start, prep the water for the pasta by setting a large pot of water over high heat. In the meantime, melt 10 tablespoons of truffle butter over medium heat in another pot. Add a half a cup of flour and whisk for one to two minutes. Then slowly add five cups of whole milk and whisk until smooth. Simmer until the sauce begins to thicken to a gravy. Then reduce the heat to low and stir in freshly grated cheese. I'm using three ounces of aged provolone four and a half ounce of Asiago Fresco, another four and a half ounce of Fontina. Add salt to taste, and then preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then go back to your pasta water and add salt so that it tastes like a highly seasoned soup broth. Cook the pasta for half the time suggested in the box since it will finish cooking in the oven. Drain your pasta, Add the cheese sauce and pour into your buttered baking dish. Sprinkle three quarters of a pound of fresh mozzarella on top of your pasta and bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Then to finish, broil it for one to three minutes until the mozzarella is brown and crispy. And there you have it, the best creamiest baked truffle butter mac and cheese. If you like this recipe, let me know in the comments below. Have a peaceful day and I'll see you next time.